Chris, is there anything that's allowed you to just kind of pick things up really, really quickly? It seems like you've hit the ground running just like just getting here a couple days ago. Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, I've been in the league for a pretty long time now. Um, and a lot of this stuff, you know, the concepts and formations for me is, it looks familiar. So, I mean, it's all about repetition and just really just getting in the playbook and studying it. And I think just because I've been in offenses and stuff looks familiar to me, it, can, it clicks a little bit faster. Is the language at all similar to anything else? Yeah, some of it. I mean, you know, you go from team to team and there's always going to be, there's going to be some carryover, but, you know, every team kind of has their own unique way of calling different concepts and formations. But, you know, once you kind of grasp, like, most of the, the general, how they're calling things, you know, for me, it's, it becomes a little bit simpler to pick up the, the offense and formations and just being able to plug myself in with different positions. You've been in the league now for a while, but you did transition from the league to lacrosse and now back to football. Uh, how do you go back just switching between sports so quickly? <laughs> um, you know, I, I mean, for me, it was an opportunity to go play lacrosse. You know, I, I wasn't sure what my future held with football, and um, that's why I, I, you know, I didn't want to retire, and I, that's why I kept this door open. And, and the opportunity came for me to you know, come down here and participate in training camp. And you know, I couldn't pass on that opportunity. And I mean, I think the, as far as training and um, you know, conditioning and that physical aspect of the sport, I mean, tr the, the crossover is very similar. So it was very easy for me to come down here. You know, I just haven't run routes in a couple of months. So it was just some, you know, getting back into the swing of things. And you know, it's gonna take time, but you know, I'm looking forward to the process. And you know, it's gonna, you know, this opportunity to be in camp. What's kind of been your initial impression of uh, being around Buck Jameson's rotation here? Just kind of seeing both of them try to kind of establish themselves as the guy here. Yeah, I mean, it's been awesome. I mean, just really just the whole team atmosphere. Um, you know, coming here, you know, these guys are, you know, they work hard. You know, Jameis, Taysom, you know, I mean, all the quarterbacks. I mean, they're first guys in, last guys out. Um, you know, and I've seen that from, from their prep, how they work. and. Uh, quite honestly, you know, I'm going to let them take care of their job, and you know, for me, I'm just trying to hold myself accountable so that I can be in the right spot for them and uh, try to make some plays, make them look good. Chris, I feel like similar to uh, Belichick, Sean Payton can kind of be similar in seeing a specific role for a player that they could kind of fit like a, a niche in their offense. Would you, would, would you say that's accurate? And do you feel like that? Yeah, I mean, you know, for me, I'm, I'm just trying to, um, you know, I'm just trying to learn everything. You know, I, I really, I don't think I've spent, I've only been down here for a couple of days and been a part of the team, but, you know, I think the more that you can do this team, whatever team it is, the more that you can learn, the more you can do, the longer you're going to be able to stick around. So if you're able to do multiple different things and be good at multiple different things, I think you're able to last in this league and, you know, you be available, obviously. I, I think your, you know, guys will, and coaches will, will like that about you. Um, so that's really what I like. To, I try to do. I, you know, I try to be able to know all the different positions, special teams, whatever it is, and you know, just you know, ag again, the whole accountability thing, going out there. No one's, you know, there's the expectations for myself are to go out there and be able to pick up this offense right away. You know, there's it's not like I have time. You know, that you play a game in two weeks. You know, so you know, it, it's it's all about you know, there's a little sense of urgency for me, and you know, just trying to learn as much as I can as fast as I can. Could you? been in contact with the Saints for very long before this at all or not not at all okay. not at all so it just came together pretty quickly yeah very fast <laughs> in the span of like a, a day 24 you hours yeah pretty much. <laughs> and then just flew straight here and flew straight here had a workout and flew back home to see my wife and kids and you know tell them I was gonna be gone for a little while and flew straight back so where's home now uh Long Island so Tom mentioned <clears throat> that he was familiar you know offhand he was familiar with your accomplishments with the Patriots how relevant do you think that experience is now to what you can bring here? I mean, I think I've been in the league now for a pretty long time, and you know, like for instance, like I'm in a in a room with a bunch of very talented guys, but a bunch of very young guys. So for me to kind of teach these guys, or, or you know, if they have questions, or, or how to be a professional, how to take care of your body, you know, throughout the season, you know, the season is tough. I mean, there's adversity that comes along with playing the NFL. And you know, there's going to be a, there's going to be highs, there's going to be lows, and, and how you respond and how you act and, and carry yourself during those low times and those adversity times, I think, is something that I can kind of help guide some of those younger players in because you know New England wasn't always smooth sailing or anywhere that I've been. You know, we 
you know, you lose games and you, know, you got to be able to bounce back. You know, short-term memory and um, you know, there's a you're playing to try to get to, to you know December, January. You're playing for the playoffs, but every single game matters. So you just go week by week by week and you know. Don't look forward in the future, you know, and every single day come to work with a purpose and, and try to act as professional as you can. Uh, Chris, talking to you, you didn't ask if I could work for No, of course. But, uh, so you said the Saints kind of came out quickly. Were you actively, like, looking around trying no. to get back in the NFL? Like, how did that develop in general? Uh, I was preparing myself to go to Colorado Springs to play for uh, the Whip Snakes. Um, we were playing the Water Dogs this weekend, so that's what I was preparing for. I mean, honestly, I mean that's what I was preparing for. Um, and you know, my agent um, called me and said the Saints wanted to bring me in for a workout. And you know, I would never pass up on an opportunity to come down to a, obviously an organization like this um, and just the opportunity to play football. Again, so. How did your coach take it when uh, you said you were going back to football? Oh, they were fine. Um, One of the uh, coaches was joking, like they weren't too happy about it. Uh, they were, you know, they were. Both of them, all my coaches texted me, and, and I had conversations with them. Uh, I think they were more happy for me that I was able to, you know, get another opportunity and continue my career. Um, you know, I was in a place where, you know, with the whip snakes. I mean, those coaches kind of took me in, and, and they really were trying to coach me um, and try to get me back into the swing of things of playing lacrosse. So. Uh, I really did appreciate their their approach towards me. You know, I hadn't played in 12 years, but you know, I think they were both very happy for me that I got another opportunity down here. Do you plan to go back to lacrosse and upper football? Yeah. Honestly, my focus right now is yeah. this. You know, I'm putting everything I got into this training camp, and um, you know, try to make this team, and you know, we'll cross that bridge when that when I get there. Could you get off to like the legitimacy of that league? I mean, I know they bought the MLL and it seems like they obviously have a great TV deal. I mean, it seems like yeah. they have things where it could be really sustainable. It's awesome. Yeah. I mean, honestly, they're for what they're working with, you know, and, and the couple of years that they started this program, I mean, the, the league, you know, dealing with COVID, you know, now still dealing with COVID and everything and still being able to get games on TV and, and put the product on the field that they're doing. You know, these are the best players, in, you know, in the world. And they're they're bringing them all together. They're traveling as a group. And obviously, the long-term goal is to be able to put it in different cities and have you know guys be able to do this you know full time. That's obviously the long-term goal. And you know, I think over time it'll get there. It's you know, it's only the third year of the league. So you know, I, these the guys that are in you know in ops and who started this. You know, Paul and Mike and, and all those guys. I mean, they're doing a tremendous job with. Bringing in, like you said, the TV deals and the sponsors, and they're doing all the right things. I think it's just going to take time, and um, you know, I think you're going to continue to see this sport continue to grow. Thanks, Chris. Thanks. Yep. Thanks. We're going to have Marquez Callaway next.